Hi everyone, bonsoir, this is Shariq and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrot with Arabic. Today is day 12 in our 30 day challenge. I promised you I am going to upload one lesson every single day for a period of 30 days. So today is day 12. I hope you've been following them and you've been studying really well. Um, before I begin our lesson today, let me as usual ask you to subscribe to my channel if you find my lessons useful. Also follow me on Facebook and on Instagram because I also upload lessons there almost on a daily basis. Um, let's begin. Today our lesson is going to be about different expressions that have the word head in Arabic. We have so many of them and I tried to remember as much as I can. I tried to ask my friends, my family and I came up with I think I came up with about 21 expressions. Before we begin, we need to know what's the meaning of the word head, right? In Arabic, it's ras, ras. In standard Arabic, we pronounce it ras. There is a hamza, ras. But in Lebanese Arabic, we drop that hamza sound and we just pronounce it ras, ras. The first expression that I have today is raso tenke, raso tenke. Tenke in Arabic is a is a do you call a can a can. So if I'm drinking a Pepsi can, I say tenke Pepsi. So tenke, but if it's followed by a by a noun, I have to pronounce the tema buta and I say tenke Pepsi tenke. But when I say raso tenke, it means somebody who's very stubborn and we can't change their mind easily. So raso tenke that's masculine, rasa tenke that's feminine. The second expression is rase araso. Literally, I'm saying my head rase a on raso his head. My head is on his head. It doesn't really mean my head is on his head, like literally physically. No, it means we really get along or we think in the same way. We have the same opinions. So rase araso. And that's masculine if I'm talking that I, the way I think is similar to the way another guy thinks. But if it's another girl who thinks, I would say Rase Arasa. Or if I'm talking to you, I would say Rase Arasak or Rase Arasik if it's feminine. The next expression is Ala Rase. So when do we say ala rase? Literally, it means first of all on ras is head and rase is my head on my head. When somebody asks you for a favor or something, you say ala rase, which means of course I'm gonna do it. Or sometimes we use it to say you're welcome, and sometimes we use it to say uh, your wish is my command. It's like really friendly and sometimes even. How can I say? You know, when you give so much value to a person and you tell them ala rase, that's what it means. You're giving a lot of value to a person and you're saying you're welcome or your wish is my command or I'm going to do whatever you want. The next one is msakkar rase. Msakkar, it's closed. Literally, it's closed. And rase means my head. This one can mean two things. Sometimes when I say msakkar rase, it means I'm really angry or maybe I say msakkar rase minnak. I'm really angry with you, minnak, my head is closed literally from you. Or msakkar rase minnik, I am really upset or angry. But sometimes when I say msakkar rase, it doesn't mean I'm angry, but it's like I'm not able to think straight today. Like you say in English, my head is blocked, it's the same thing. The next one is almost the same meaning, it's rase mish am yistawab. Let's repeat it. Rase, my head, mish is not. It's like you're saying it's grasping. My head is not grasping the information. Maybe somebody is trying to explain a lesson to me. Okay, maybe today my Arabic lesson is very difficult and you want to say, you know what, I'm not understanding anything or maybe my head is so tired, I was at work or something. You say, Rase مش عم يستوعب. Okay, now sometimes I can also say, Rase مش عم يستوعب. His head is not his head is not grasping. When I'm trying to really explain something to someone and they're not understanding and I go like Rasu Mushambistawab like he's not really understanding what I'm saying. Okay, the next one is Ma'ule Rasak or Ma'ule Rasik. Sometimes I say Ma'ul Rasak or Ma'ul Rasik. I don't have to say Ma'ule. I can say Ma'ul. 
it's like I'm saying really like how can you do that or how can you think like that it's like I'm saying is it possible your head is your head possible like how the hell can you do this so ma'uli rasak or ma'uli rasik usually when you say this is like you're you know you're a bit angry at least or very angry sometimes or Sometimes when you're joking with your friends as well, like if somebody said something really funny, you, you can say ma'ule rasak. Okay, the next one is bhattak harase. Literally, bhatt is I put or I place bhattak, I put you, that's masculine, and if it's feminine, it's bhattik harase, on my head. I put you on my head. Um, what does this mean? It means, for example, when you give so much importance and value to someone and you know, you give them their place, you respect them. It also means like you're putting someone on a pedestal. So you're really giving value to someone and you're telling them, I would put you on my head, you know. So bhattak arase or bhattik arase, that's feminine. We even have a song, I will leave a link in the description box below, where the guy goes, Patta ara seven four. I put her on my head from above. Patta. I put her ara se on my head min four from above. And then he goes idem al alam killa in front of all the people. Idem in front of al alam the people killa all basically in front of everybody. Okay. Patta ara se min four idem al alam killa. Okay. The next one is. Um, مش عم بيجي عراسي or you can also say ما عم بيجي عراسي عم بيجي it's coming ما عم بيجي or مش عم بيجي عراسي عراسي to my head it's not coming to my head so for example if I'm trying to remember uh, if I'm trying to remember the name of someone or something that happened and I'm not being able to remember I can say ما عم بيجي عراسي it's not coming to my head basically I can say sometimes to a person if I'm talking to him I say جيت عراسي that's masculine جيت you came عراسي on my head and جيت you feminine uh, عراسي on my head it's like I'm saying you came to my head I say you came on my head in Arabic but it's it, in fact we're saying you came to my head it's like I thought of you or I thought about you okay another one is I like his head or I like her head I can also say I like your head masculine and I like your head feminine I like your head I like the way you think basically Ras al hayye is Ras, the head. Il, the hayye is a snake, the head of the snake. It's the person behind that problem that happened and they were the brains of that problem or of a situation that happened. So we say Ras al hayye. When can I say this? For example, I don't know, there was a problem between two people, let's say, okay? and. Uh, they broke up because w there was a friend of them who, who was trying to, you know, uh, give uh, like wrong information or gossiping or saying this and that. And they influenced their relationship. So we can say this person is Ras al Hayye, like the head of the snake. Now, in English, you would say uh, the peak of the mountain, the mountain peak. In Arabic, we say the head of the mountain, Ras al Jabal. Jabal is mountain, Ras al Jabal or Ras al Jabal is the head of the mountain, which means the mountain peak. Next one is Ras al Teel. Literally, Teel is heavy, Ras is my head, and Ras al Teel, my head is heavy. Masalan, Ras al Teel al my head is heavy today, maybe physically I'm feeling tired, or maybe even mentally, like I. I'm really tired and I can think. I can also say rasiti. Usually it, it, it means you have some pain or something like that. Okay, now, you know somebody fills your head? That's how we say it in Arabic. Bi'abbi rasi. Bi'abbi is he feels. Bi'abbi li. He feels my rasi head. He feels my head. Bi'abbi li rasi. She feels my head. And I can also say it to you. If it's one person, I, I can say, You fill my head. Or, You fill my head. It's like 
again like you fulfill me mentally i like the way you think or i really think you're a, you're a good package you know i'm convinced that you're a good good person or uh, you know the way you think is nice and sometimes i think people can also say this to say like a person fulfills them in many ways mm, how can i say this like it, the person fulfills you completely and you even like to be in a relationship with them or something like that Okay, so that's Betahabili Rasi, and we have a platter called, like it's not really just a platter, but it's a kind of meat, Lahmi Ras Asfur. I don't really know why we call it Ras Asfur, but it's, it's how it's called. Asfur is a bird, Ras Asfur, the head of the bird, and then this meat that's made of beef, it has nothing to do with birds. We call it lahmi ras asfur. I will show you the picture now in a minute. And we usually put it on hummus. It's really, really tasty. Like, I feel like having some now. When I saw the picture of it, I thought, mm, I really feel like eating it now. Look at it. The next expression is rasi mtallat. Rasi, my head, mtallat is frozen. My head is frozen. Again, I really can't think straight. Uh, I can't analyze, I can't think properly, you know, uh, my brain is slow basically today, okay? Rasi mtallat. Aryah ras, aryah ras. When do I say this? It's a fixed expression, it doesn't change. Aryah ras. Aryah, more comfortable. Ras, head, a more comfortable head. So, when can you say this? Um, it's a way to say uh, it's better, you know, it's better. It didn't happen, it's okay, it's better. Maybe something was going to happen, which was nice, but at the same time, it was going to be maybe a bit problematic or tiring or something like that. You say, Aryahras, because it didn't happen. For example, maybe I invited a lot of friends and we were going to have a big lunch or something like that, and it's fun, it's nice, but at the same time, it's a bit tiring because I'm gonna prepare so many things and all of that. And then my friends call me and say, you know what, we won't be able to make it because you know we have something and whatever. And I think to myself, or I say to someone else, I say, it's better if they're not coming, you know, because uh, I, I don't need to get tired or that. Rase matwush. Rase, my head, matwush is like really, uh, it's, there's too much noise that it's, I'm saying my head is, kind of I'm saying noised or something like that which means like it's so noisy that my head is hurting yeah I don't know if you have a kid and they keep on nagging you ah, I want this I want that I want the chocolate I want this I want that and then you're tired and you say like my head is really I don't know noised or something like tired of the noise or something okay rase matwoosh in English, you say the tip of your tongue, right? In Arabic, we say the head of your tongue. So, a al sene, a on ras the head al sene. So when I say a ras al sene, it's like I remember, like I want to. I'm just about to remember something, and I still can't remember it, and it's not coming to my head, but like it's just there, and I just can't say it. That's a ras al sene. So, for example. If I'm trying to remember the name of someone and I'm saying, what was his name? What was his name? And like, it's there, I remember it and I don't. That's Aras al it's at the tip of my tongue. Okay? Tej Rasak or Tej Raskun. This is really something. Um, it's sad, but it's funny at the same time. I don't even know how to explain this in Lebanon. It's Okay, first of all, let, let me explain, explain what it means. Tej is a crown. Rasak of your head. Literally, the crown of your head or the crown over your head. And it's, if it's feminine, I say Tej Rasik. And if it's plural, I say Tej Raskun. It's like I'm saying this person is the crown of your head and you can't even say anything bad about them. Usually, unfortunately, in Lebanon, this is the case when it comes to politicians. Every, uh, like, uh, every group of people believes that their politician is the best. And when somebody else says something negative about this particular politician, the Lebanese person goes, Tejrasak. 
okay especially now with the revolution and everything that's going on different people have different opinions and every person who likes a pers a particular leader they go like this ex leader is tej rasak or tej rasik or tej raskon in the plural like you know you can't even talk about them they're much hundred times better than you or than your leader basically okay but they kasir lak rasak but they i want to كسر لك a break for you which means break your in this case راسك your head and if I'm talking to a girl I will say بدي كسر لك راسك okay this expression has two meanings if your mom tells you بدي كسر لك راسك and they go like that بدي كسر لك راسك it means like you are in trouble and they're gonna beat you up or something you know if 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 you're a kid and your mom tells you بدي كسر لك راسك or just بدي كسرك sometimes I will break you بدي كسرك it means like you're in big trouble, okay? بدي كسر لك راسك or بدي كسر لك راسك Now this expression doesn't have to be always like physically beating someone up, no It also means like you're in a competition with someone I can say to, if I'm, for example, playing a game with someone I'm playing طاولة, okay? With my dad's friends Sometimes I do that طاولة is like... Uh, I don't know what to call it in English, I forgot I used to know um, That game where you throw the dice and you move the stones Anyways, it's called Tawli. I'll show you in the picture now. Um, so basically, when I play with my dad's friends, and there is his best friend, I always play with him. I tell him, "But the kasser la krasak, I will break your head." It's a way to say like I'm gonna, I'm gonna win, and I'm gonna beat you. Basically, it's a, it's a fun way of saying that sometimes, you know, because you're having a competition or you have this competitive spirit, you know. So that's but the kasser la krasak. And sometimes I think people can say it as well in a negative way, like but the kasser lo raso, I will break his head, like. You know, I'm going to win and my uh, sometimes also, for example, if you're having an argument with someone and you want your argument to win, you say, but raso. Which brings us to the next expression, which is just tiksir ras, breaking head. Tiksir ras. When I say tiksir ras, it's again this competition between two people you know if I'm having an argument or a debate with someone and I'm trying to impose my opinion and then the other person is trying to impose their opinion and you know we're having arguments and so on so that's tiksir ras the next expression is tla min rasi tla go out min rasi of my head or tla min rasi this expression when do I say it I say it when for example I don't know, somebody has been really trying to s explain something to me over and over again and even nagging and repeating themselves really many times I say, خلاص, من راسي like stop it, like stop saying that anymore, you know so if they are being pushy so I just say, من راسي, that's masculine and when it's feminine I say, من راسي, like get out of my head and stop nagging or something like that, okay now I can use this expression in a different way when I say, for example, ما عم بقدر, I am not able to, ما عم بقدر طلعك or طلعك when it's feminine من راسي, ما عم بقدر, عم بقدر is I am able to, ما عم بقدر, I'm not able to, ما عم بقدر طلعك to take you out of من راسي, of my head. ما عم بقدر طلعك من راسي I am unable to take you out of my head basically because I can I'm thinking of you so much and I really can't stop thinking of you okay so that's ما عم بقدر طلعك من راسي كسرت راسي I broke my head again it's not literally I broke my head no I broke my head in the sense that there was a problem that I was trying to solve and it was so difficult say I am in my math exam and there was this problem that was very difficult and I was trying to solve so that's كسر تراسي I broke my head thinking so much and overthinking okay so it can also mean just overthinking كسر تراسي there is one more that's in not in Lebanese Arabic that's in standard Arabic and we say مسقط رأسي or مسقط رأسي when it's my or مسقط رأسك when it's yours and مسقط رأسك your feminine and it means your hometown مسقط رأس hometown مسقط رأس and finally I want to tell you about one snack Lebanese snack 
that we grew up eating so much and it became part of Lebanese culture and there's a story behind it which I'm going to tell you about. This snack used to be called Ras Al Abid. I think it was too racist, that's why they changed its name. I'll tell you what is it. Ras Head Al Abid. Abid means slave. It means the head of the slave. Let me show you the picture. So basically, this Ras Al Abid is such a healthy, um, it's such a healthy, uh, nothing, it's nothing to do with healthy. So it's a very tasty snack. We used to love eating it when we were children, like when we used to go to the grocery shop on Sundays and buy all the chocolates. Ras Al Abid had to be in the bag, okay? Recently, because uh, the company of Ras Al Abid, which is Ghandur company, they thought it's a racist expression, like, you know, the head of the slave. They changed the name and they called it Tarbush. Tarbush is the red traditional hat, the le red Lebanese traditional hat. So they called it Tarbush and it's not called Ras Al Abid anymore. But I thought I can give you like a, just a cultural um, information to finish this lesson. That's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, press like on my video and also follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, subscribe to my channel and study these really, really well. And before I go, I will ask you to write in the comment box which expression is your favorite expression or which of these expression really describes your state today. Okay, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!